Here we're going to see how to calculate the sum of the exterior angles of a convex polygon. And to do this, we first have to draw the exterior angles. An exterior angle of a polygon is defined as the angle formed by extending one of the sides of the polygon, and then it's the angle in between that extension and the adjacent side of the polygon. So here I'm going to draw four exterior angles because I have four sides of the polygon. And notice I'm kind of extending them in a clockwise fashion. This is really important because when we talk about the sum of these exterior angles, we're talking about only one exterior angle at each vertex of the polygon. So now I'm going to number these angles 1 through 4. And then I'm going to number the interior angles 5 through 8. And the reason why I'm going to do this is I want to show you the relationship between the exterior angle and the interior angle. Notice 6 and 2 form a straight angle together, meaning that their sum equals 180 degrees, the sum of their measurements. That's the same thing with 3 and 7, and the same thing with 4 and 8, and also with 5 and 1. And this should make sense because the whole idea about an exterior angle is we're extending the side length and basically forming another angle that when added to its adjacent interior angle should equal that straight angle. And since we have four sides, we have four sums of 180 degrees. So logically, if we take the sum of the interior angles and add it to the sum of the exterior angles, so basically we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 and adding them all together, we're going to get all four of these 180 degrees. In other words, 4 times 180. And we know the sum of the interior angles because we know the equation n minus 2 times 180. And since there are four sides, and n has to do with the number of sides, there are four sides in a quadrilateral. We can take 4 minus 2 and get 2 in the end. Multiply that by 180, and we'll know the sum of the interior of the angle, interior angles. We can call the sum of the exterior angles x, and then we can evaluate this and solve for x. Now the next question is going to be, after we evaluate this, so we find out that the sum of the exterior angle measurements of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. How does this relate to any polygon out there? Is this only true for quadrilaterals? Is there some kind of pattern like the interior angle measurements? Is there an equation that we could use to find the sum of the exterior angles? So we're going to go through this calculation again, but this time instead of using 4 for a quadrilateral, we're going to keep the variable n in there. And n, as you remember, has to do with the number of sides of a polygon. So if we keep it in there, this should work for any convex polygon. So again, the sum of the interior angles of any convex polygon is n minus 2 times 180. We don't know the sum of the exterior angles. But we do know that if we add both of these together, it should be n times 180. So now we're going to go through these calculations. And notice that n times 180 is on both sides of the equation. So if we subtract this expression from both sides, it eliminates it. And we're left with negative 2 times 180 plus x equals 0. And then if we evaluate that, we get negative 360 plus x equals 0. And then we're going to bring the negative 360 to the other side by adding it to both sides. And we see that x also equals 360 here, and the n actually disappears. So what does this actually mean? Well, basically, regardless 
of how many sides you're talking about, every single polygon out there, every convex polygon, has a sum of exterior angle measurements of 360, no matter what. So it doesn't depend on how many sides there are. So let's do a couple example problems just to see how this works. So how about a pentagon with five sides? Well, the sum of the exterior angle measurements is going to be 360. How about a hexagon with six sides? Well, it's also 360. In other words, any convex polygon doesn't matter how many sides it has. The sum of the exterior angle measurements is always going to be 360 degrees.